Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we are going to be checking out the Acura 2022 NSX Type S. We're going to do a stage 5 shift in tune, a stage 6 shift in tune, and we'll do a review on the car and see if we can find the live racing setup and all that good stuff. So let's go do it to it. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you to Asho Speed the King. I'm using his account today. Check him out on YouTube. When this car is completely maxed out, nitrous goes all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0 and tire pressure on 8 PSI. To drive this car, let go of the gas a little bit after number one to launch. Instantly shift into second, shortly after third, fourth, nitrous, and then all shifts right before the red line after that. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous. Fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, eighth gear ninth gear and overall that's a very easy car to drive there we got a 7.783 which is a pretty darn good run on stage five parts only with all the fusions installed this is how we're going to tune it and remember when you change parts it can change the way you tune your car so if you don't know how to if you don't know how to tune a car check out my tuning playlist on my channel but nitrous all the way to the right final drive about 3.04 tire pressure 8 psi that will give us a 10.170 on the dyno to drive this on stage five we are going to let go of the gas a little bit after number one almost instantly shift into second shift into third hit your nitrous and then all shifts right before the red line or perfect shifts are fine too so here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, eighth gear, and ninth gear. And that seems to be working very good for me. And what did we get? There we got a 10.186. All right, so for a live racing setup, you can go ahead and give this a try. We got 636 on the performance points, 1106 on the Evo. So it's probably not going to dominate on live racing, but it might be pretty decent. The goal is to win live races without beating the dyno time. And that's what this kind of setup tries to accomplish. I can't guarantee it's going to be perfect, but you know what? You only need to upgrade a few parts. And if you have the car already upgraded, give it a try. We have the engine on stock, turbo stock. We got the intake on stage three, nitrous on stage one, body on stage three, tires on stage three, transmission on stage four. The nitrous is not tunable, so don't worry about that. Final drive, 4.61, tire pressures, 8 PSI, and that's going to give us a 12.747 on the dyno time. So we're probably going to be in about the 12.8 lobby. So we're going to try and run probably around 12.8. All right, so I don't really think this is going to do great for live racing, but let's try something like this. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And it's, it's a very weird car. Honestly, I don't think this is going to do well at live racing, but go ahead and give it a try. You never know. There we got a 12.846. So we're getting 12 eights with the dyno of like 12.7. You could probably tweak the tune, but then you're going to lose the perf the uh, performance points or the Evo points, I mean. And then it's not really going to do very well. I don't know. It's it's. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a great live racer, honestly. All right, so I think this car is basically going to be a dust collector. There's nothing that stands out about it. It barely beats the dyno on stage five and stage six. I don't think the live racing is going to be a good setup. Now, it does have a high top speed of 452. Zero to 60 is 1.2. Zero to 100 is like 1.9 something. So it's got decent acceleration and good top speed. But besides those two things... I don't know. I've, I think this one's going to be a dust collector. It's going to set in my garage and look pretty. And I'm probably never going to upgrade this until I need it for some sort of event or a prestige cup or something like that. So overall, the car is just kind of eh. Nothing about it really stands out to me at all. I'm really disappointed. I was hoping this was going to be a really good car, but it's not really that great. I mean, it, it's way down on the list of the fastest cars. There's nothing really special about this one. It's just a so-so car. 
All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. And when I post a video, if you can watch the entire thing, that will really make YouTube think people like my videos and they're more likely to promote my channel and that will help it grow. Other ways to support the channel, check out the uh, thank you button or the like the button down below the video. I can't talk today. There's a link to the Danny Lightning merch store in the video's description. There's a some Amazon links for some really awesome audio gear for YouTube, podcasting, Twitch, whatever it is you're doing. Check that stuff out. If you buy something off one of those lists, I do get a small commission, which would be a big help. Thank you to all my monthly channel members. I really appreciate you guys a lot. If you go down to my channel, the first thing you're going to see is a list of uh, channel members. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps this one up. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Lightning out. See ya.